So the way we're going to do this is very simple, right? So we're going to have a web app and we're going to enable Firebase on that web app. So you can do this using React or vanilla HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It's your choice, you know, how you want to set this up. And once we get the user to sign in, we're going to actually grab the token, right? So this is the OAuth token. And then we're going to open the Electron app via a protocol and we're going to send this token over to Electron so that we can sign the user in. Okay, so to begin, first of all, you need a Firebase account and make sure once you have an account that you head over to console.firebase.google.com. Now, once you've created your project, make sure you run npm install Firebase within your front-end project. And after that, you want to paste this in a separate file where you can set up your Firebase config. So this is my client-facing application. I have a file called index.ts within my Firebase folder where I've set up the Firebase config and I'm exporting this. And you can see in my signin.tsx file, I'm actually importing this Firebase config. I am creating a Google Auth provider. This is how you would log in uh, via Google. And I have a signin function here. Now the sign in function is extremely simple. I am calling Firebase's method, which is sign in with pop-up. I pass it the necessary arguments. You can check the docs for this. And once I get the result back, I am navigating the user to this URL, right? Which is my Electron protocol, the one we set up in the previous video. So Electron fiddle colon slash slash, and I'm passing the OAuth ID token so that I can sign in in my Electron app. So if I navigate to my sign in route, you can see that it actually shows the login page, right? And here I can select an account. And now it prompts me to open my Electron app. So that was the first part of the flow where I actually sign in on my browser and I get the OAuth ID token from the response. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna intercept this token in my Electron client and I'm gonna use that to sign into Firebase as well. So the next part of the flow involves me sending a message from the main process to the render process, right? So the way I do this is I call the send method on web contents and the channel name just for now is send token, just a sample channel name. And the message I'm passing is hello world. Now the next question is how do we intercept this message? So the next thing I wanna do is to create an interceptor. So I'm going to use the expose in main world method so that in my render process, I can actually listen or intercept messages. So just for simplicity, my key is going to be called IPC renderer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to describe a list of methods that I can actually use. So here my method is called on. So this method is what I'm going to be using to intercept messages on my render process. So the valid channels allow I've allowed for are send token. So you can see here that I've already, I've my channel name here that I'm sending to is called send token. And then I'm calling IPC renderer dot on and I'm stripping away the event and I'm only sending the message that it, that this is concerned with. And you can see here in my render process, I can finally call window dot electron dot IPC renderer and I can listen for the send token event and this is my callback that I can describe. So for now, I'm just logging the message. So let's now look at this in action. So here I have my app open and my console open as well. So I'm going to head over to the browser and I'm going to open this and you can see here that my message gets printed. So here is actually where you can call Firebase's sign in with credential function and you pass in the OAuth ID token here that comes in from the argument. So this message would ideally be the OAuth token. And after that, you can run any custom logic you like. So if you're using React, you can bind this to an event listener in the use effect hook. Basically how you want to set this up is completely up to you. So guys, I have a project here where I've set this up. So what I'm doing here after checking for main window is I'm actually uh, extracting the URL right? So that's coming from the argument, which is the second argument here to second instance. And I'm calling substring on this so I can get only the OAuth ID token. And then I'm passing that token over to token channel. Now within my react component here, I have a function called listen for token. So this is essentially again calling, you know, the on method. This is where I'm registering the listener. And here I'm calling sign in with Google, assuming that my token comes in. And here it's super simple. I'm just calling Firebase sign in with credential method and I'm passing the auth type and I'm passing the credential itself. And the last step is here. I have a simple Boolean that's called is logged in. And what I'm doing essentially is that I'm, I'm registering a listener as soon as this component mounts. 
if the auth state is changed, then I take uh, or rather I set this boolean to true. And if if I'm not authenticated, then I set this boolean to false. And whether that's set to true or false, I render a different set of components. So let's see this quickly in action. So I tap on my sign in button here, which takes me to an external link, opens up Google OAuth. I select my account. It opens up my protocol and then it takes me into the rest of the app. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. It will help this channel out tremendously. Also, if you're interested in more Electron tutorials, please don't forget to mention it in the comments. It'll help me get a sense of what you guys like watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.